have three parts to an insect. Or insects have three parts. And just when I thought, now I'm unstoppable, unstoppable. You can see me, I'm unshakable, unshakable. More music. I'm a champion, champion, champion. I'm a champion. I'm a king. I'm a legend, and I'm a champion. Champion, champion. I'm a champion. I'm a king. From the title, I'm here to talk about Nairobi Fly, commonly known as Champion. This is their season at NTMD. Bear in mind, say Champion and they out now, and they're very risky and dangerous to your skin. So now, Champion, they how they entire like, how they look like, and then a small insect, and of course, they look very colorful for some people that will love nature and animals and insects. When they see them at first sight, they're like, Oh my god, this is so cute! Look how nice it is, so colorful. But it can actually kill you. So now the Nairobi fly is basically black and orange in color. But sometimes it looks, the orange looks like red, sometimes the red looks like orange. So it's like black, orange, black. That's how it looks like. You know, it's got divided the thorax, the abdomen, and the. Oh my god! <laughs> my teacher taught me that in secondary school. I forgot to me. Head, you know, they, they say that you have three parts to an insect, or insects have three parts. The head, the thorax, no. The head, the head, no. So you guys should be very, very careful because it causes blisters on your skin. It looks like bones. It's very, very dangerous and they have dangerous chemicals. It can even leave you with scars. Trust me, that's how bad it is. So now how to prevent or control these insects. Now, first off, you have to make sure that you use chemical fly formulations. Okay, so secondly, make sure you close your doors and windows before it gets dark. Who closes their doors and windows before it gets dark in free town service? Like, where the place where I'm so? Except for those of you who have air cons in your houses, in your rooms, in your living room, wherever, you're lucky, you can do that. But, if you have manual fans like mine, Can leave it open as long as you want the other guide is make sure that you always have a mosquito net sleep on that tent that's a very big solution to this for avoid champion of a for you sleep on that tent growing up as a child i'm a very different person there are some certain things that kids had that i never had for example chicken pox i never get chicken pox i never once not even for once had chicken pox so and there people are like oh you're going to get it when you're old when you grow older i'm like no i mean <laughs> no it's not possible everybody's different every child is different you have some kids that since they were born they've never been sick trust me so that's how people are different so for me i thought i was like oh, oh i'm so so different i've never been beaten by you know an aerobic fly i've never been beaten by a champion and just when i thought now i'm unstoppable unstoppable you can see me i'm unshakable unshakable moment and i'm a champion Finally, the Nairobi fly champions are attracted to fluorescent lights. Yes, that's why you find them in your rooms, that's why you find them in your homes. And one recommendation I'd like to do is maybe you could use pseudo creme. I think it helps because pseudo creme is like everything, is an acne cream, 
you know, it takes off scars and all of that bond, sores, and of course, it's related to this. You understand? So make sure you're very careful. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Michelle Jawad. Thank you. Be careful. I love you guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye. Beware of champions.